Hello everybody, I'm back again. Just wanted to jump in real quick and do the tutorial for those uh, pockets that I showed on my show and tell. And um, so, let's get started. So these are the pockets that I had shown, which these I, I uh, covered the wordings with some brown paper and then I distressed them with that uh, Tim Holtz um, oxidized ink. And um, on this one, I sprayed water, as you can see the difference. So I did that to these two, but I wanted to show you the different ways, the same pocket, you can create um, so many ways of doing these. And this one, we got a pocket here, a pocket back here, this one, and then the one on the inside. And then if you don't glue this all the way down on your page, you have another pocket. Then we have this one here. You have a pocket here, a pocket here, and then a pocket in the back. I think this was only with two sheets. But the ones with the multitude pockets, that one was used um, using four. So I'll show you real quick. Um, um, the ones I used for this were larger pages. Because maybe I should get those. Just, they'll be more... Um, I guess visible. Let me see if I have some right here, real quick. What is this? Oh, that's just one. Okay, I don't have any in front of me. I thought I might have some, but it's only one left. So we're just going to use regular pages because I need to make small ones anyways for an, a couple of little little four by six journals that I'm working on. So what you do. We're going to do this one. Just grab two pages of whatever um, paper you want to use. Oh, that's three. And all you're going to do is cut them in half to get two even pieces. Or four even pieces. <laughs> I think this one is eight and a quarter in uh, length. So I'm going to cut it up. Oh. I'm going to cut it in half, so it's four and one eighth, I think. And then just make sure the letters are going the same way. And if you don't like the little part where you cut off the page, you can take it off. I know on some of them I leave it and some of them I don't. On this one, I guess we'll take it off. And then from here, this is the width of my pocket which you can use them going this way or going that way I want to make some small ones for that book so I'm gonna actually trim this one down real quick I'm gonna I want it at least three inches in width so I'm gonna go right there so you can make them as big as small as you want just set it away so then once you have your four sheets, what you're going to do is fold this part of where you want the pocket, you know, the tuck and um, I guess where you, <laughs> where you want the pocket, how big you want the pocket. There you go. I'm going to say there. So once you do that, just grab your foam folder and do that so this is what we have right now now at this point I will go to my sewing machine and I will do a stitch if you don't want to sew on them you don't have to you can just grab your wet glue and just hold this there while you just glue you want to glue especially the edge here and then grab the other one. And then glue. And then the next one. And glue. I have some here that I already sewed and these are bigger. So I have four pages. In here and I just went and uh, did a zigzag on this one 
but you don't need to sew. Like I said, you can use glue. And then once you've got that, I'm going to do this real quick. So once we have that, then we decide what kind of pocket we want to make. Is it two going this way? Or do we want one going that way and this one this way? It's really whatever you want to do. Or if you want just straight pockets like that, you can do that too. For this one, I'm going to flip it over, push all those back, and I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to grab my glue. And I'm going to leave that piece there. You don't have to do this. I do it because you know how you're always inserting, you know, little tags and stuff. I want to make sure my edge of that pocket is nice and sturdy. So I kind of like doing this where, you know, it'll give it more stability. You can just go ahead and use your trimmer and cut it off. You can do that too. It's really whatever you want to do. So see, that's what I have right now. And on this one, I grab my next page. So now I open it all the way. I hope I'm in frame, guys. And then I want to do the same pocket, but going the other way now. So I'm assuming it's there. Bring it back up, make sure. Yeah, it's good. So bring it back down. And then my glue. Oops. And just glue it down because we don't want that to be, you know, making our tags and stuff get stuck all over the place. So if you don't glue them down, I suggest you just cut them better. So now we have this. And on the back, we still have two pages. So what we would do is now cut the little thingy there. Now, because this paper is thin, I know it's going to tear. And I saw on video someone put a piece of uh, cardstock or a piece of paper just to give it more strength. Because I know this thing, it needs some sharpening. Which I think people say use a, um, what's it called? Um, oh my goodness, um, what's it called? Oh, I hope I get it straight. Kind of straight. So that's what we have here. See, I made it kind of small. And actually this pocket on the back looks a little tinier, so you can just trim that edge. To make it even but this is how you would make them if you want these like okay they're too much at the top no biggie all you do is bring it back down let me do another one I don't want to mess that up I leave, leave that alone so you grab your other sheet of papers well let's start see on this one I left the um, the little I didn't cut off the little tearing thing. I kind of I kind of like it because it looks grungy. And that's what we want. So, again, but this time I'm not going to go to the point of that uh, page. I'm, oh, shoot. That's two pages. Hold on. I'm going to go further down. I'm going to say there. And then I'm going to bring this one. And here, if I want them both going the same way, then I will just, you know, measure just by looking at the other one. So, there you would have it. And all you got to do is just go trim this, this, these pieces out. And there you have a pocket this way. And then you still have the two here where you would punch this hole again. I'm going to add another piece of paper 
And I'm going to try to center it. So see there, you have that one. Or you can just turn it this way and you kind of bring it back up just to make sure you have them even. Which I don't. I think this one has to go a little more down. So just go with your scissors and trim the X's off. So there you would have one pocket here, one pocket back there. Also, you can make them even. So with these pockets, like I said, you can do so much with them. You can do that um, and just, you know, you can just do it straight. You don't even have to do the little you know, at an angle. All you have to do is just whatever distance you want the pocket, and there you have it. And then you can still do the little... On some of them, like this one, I didn't use um, four pages. I just used two. I just pretty much grabbed one page, folded it in half, And then um, you cut your pocket to size. And actually, like I said, I need the three inch ones. So I take that piece off, fold it. Okay, I need to put it down. It is not going straight. And there you have it. See, you could just use two. And like I said, pocket back here, here, and then on the front. You could also put it in where your inserts would go back here. And then you have that tuck and that tuck. So it's really optional the way you want to do it, but... Like I said, I, I like the sewing, so the bigger you want them, the smaller, that's really up to you. So that's how those are done. Hopefully I made sense, because it could be confusing, but, <laughs> but like I said, once you have the four pieces glued together, or two pieces, all you gotta do is fold it to wherever you want it to, whatever style you're looking for. Now for, <coughs> excuse me, for these here, Move these out of the way. Throw that over there. Now these, they were made the same way. Um, I use bigger pages, but using these, I'm probably going to get them very small. <laughs> but let's do that one. So I want this. I'm going to leave the tearing part. And it's up to how long you want that pocket. So I'm going to say about there. It's about uh, an inch and a quarter. About. So that's my pocket. So once you have that, open it again. And now fold it the opposite. And you want to use your bone folder or your nails. <laughs> so now from here you can see the little crease there so what we're gonna do is on the on this side we're gonna cut it at an angle get my scissors so I'm going to go from that area and actually I want it a little more bigger because I want to do this V um, shape there so now I open it and if I bring my little pockets, I have that V right there. 
I kind of like that. It reminds me of the actual boulders that you buy on, on the stores. And then all you do is either you sew it or you um, glue, glue it. You can round the corners. You don't have to. You can leave it as is. You can make it uh, trim maybe more off because you want it a little, a little, um, you know, you don't want it so wide. So because this is a small page, I think it's the width is too wide. So I'm going to bring it in here. I'm going to go on a three inch. I'll take that off. So see, I like this better. It's not that um, wide anymore. So you open it and there's your little folder. And I would just close it again. Get my, whoa, over here. Get my little uh, rounder and I'm gonna use a quarter inch. And I'm just gonna do every side. You don't have to, you could only do the insides. You can leave it square, it's really optional. I like doing both. But I really like the round. I just hate that when I sew. It's just more of a challenge to, you know, go around. But there you have it. That's a little uh, bolt. Now, to do the one with these, um, you know, two tucks is the same way. So we got this done. So we're going to grab this page because we have two pages. And you're going to fold these down to wherever you want the other pocket to go. So, for instance, maybe there, I'm thinking. So now I'm going to just tuck the fold in. You can cut it off. I'm going to tuck it in. So I'm going to say there. And it's not straight. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. I think we got it. So once we have, we've struggled enough and we have it where we want it. <laughs> um, ah, press, press, press. So now once we have it, we're in this stage. What we're going to do is we're going to bring this, just hold everything in place, and bring this one down. So you want to, you could glue the bottom pocket just to keep them together. It's up to you. I'm going to um, leave this there. Now, from this point, I'm going to fold it in half. And just take your time because the paper is going to want to move all over the place. But that's fine. See, you could even take it off and fix it because it looks like that's what I have to do. There you go. And then this one goes here. We're measuring the little flap here. You could glue it just to keep it together. I should probably do that just to make sure they stay in place. You don't have to. The ones I did on the beginning, I didn't do that. And actually, I'm going to do this one with glue. So I'm just going to go all the way to the edge. I don't normally go to the edge because I sew. But for tutorial sakes, I'm just going to glue this one. So now we just put them together. Flip it over. It's a lot of work to do these things, huh, guys? No, it's not that bad. But I know it's coming out. To me, I think it's coming out complicated because the papers, you know, they don't want to stay in place. But we don't give up easily, so too bad for the paper. Okay, so we got that glued down. Let me make sure I got them. And I don't think I do. No, it is. Okay, we're good. So once we have that, let me just press on it real quick. We're going to bring this down. And we're going to fold this way. 
So now on my edge here, I have this one in. You could cut them both together at the same length, but I went ahead and left this one a little longer and this one just, I don't know, I just like that look, I guess. <laughs> so if you want them the same, just guide yourself on this flap. If you don't, which I don't, I'm gonna bring those flaps down, grab my scissors and let's see sure it doesn't move I'm gonna say maybe right there and then just bring them back up and just to see if that's nope go back well, hold on hold on let's bring them back up and see how they are before I do anything so bring those in place So see, like in this one, this is higher than these. See if you guys could see. That'll be more visible. <laughs> so see, there it is. If you don't like these, these appear to be higher than these small ones here. It's really up to you. These are, these look, this one looks a little bit higher, but they're more even. This one is not, but... It's wherever you want it. This flap, I want to glue it down. You don't have to. Like I said, you can just cut it. Cut it to size, wherever you want. Like, for example, here. Okay, to me, okay, that's too high. I don't want that. So all I would do is go back down. Fold again. And then just measure from here. Like, okay, here are my pockets together. I want it maybe there so I'll just take my scissors or my paper trimmer and cut so now we go back and bring those back up oops this way <laughs> and from this point these edges I rounded them by hand because the my rounder wouldn't fit you can leave them as is you don't have to do that but there is I want you guys to see the little I don't know if it'll show but well you know once I highlight it, it looks better but there you have it that's all it is and you just sew around it or glue around it I didn't glue this side I just glue this side so just you know if a paper's a little bit longer it won't interfere but there it is oh my god I just tore this one okay no problem I'm just gonna have to put um whatchamacallit, a piece of fabric or something to decorate it. But yeah, I just tore that one. Don't do that, guys. <laughs> but there you have it. That's how you do that one. This one, I just used a single page. I know this paper is older, more brittle, which I probably should use two pages on each because it's more brittle. This one's a little more sturdier, but still, you know, you should, or uh, maybe, I mean, it depends too on how you're going to decorate it. If you're going to layer stuff, you maybe, maybe you won't need it. But if you're just going to leave it as a little folder, you might want to use double pages, especially the back to make sure it's nice and sturdy. But that's how it is, guys. That's all it is, uh, how you do these little um, folders. Um, also, I wanted to share something and ask you guys something. Let me move this out of the way. I did another little project when I was sick. Um, like I said, I was sitting there for days, dying, trying to craft, and my mind was not having it. You know, it was just a blur. So, you know, I really wasn't doing anything. But every once in a while, you know, you have your little moments where you feel good, and then next thing you know, you're down. The point is, I uh, did a little something new, which is not complete, but I want to show you guys this it's another little booklet and this one was made out of envelopes and i guess i should have brought my envelopes to show you guys the envelopes that i used <laughs> but i mean i guess you can use any type of envelope i think these were the ones that i used yeah and these are 
about six and a half by by almost three and a quarter so there you know your basic little envelope you can do it with whatever size you want i really like the idea i was looking at um gail and she was doing something there was two people i know it was gail i can't pronounce her last name but you guys know who gail is and there was another person that used um oh girl from the ridge her homegirl <laughs> she's awesome i like her too she did something with um envelopes and um you know, while I was sick, I, I was surfing the YouTube and I, I they were playing with uh, folders. So I was like, okay, I haven't played with, I mean, envelopes. I haven't played with envelopes in a while. So this is what I came up with. I want to decorate the cover. I have not. I did Mod Podge a piece of a uh, napkin. As you can see the back, it's not covered yet. But I like how it turned out. The inside is pretty much all done. And I was trying to keep flat. You know, but I thought maybe this will be a project to do a, um, you know, um, craft with me and show you guys how I did this. Hopefully you guys like it. Let me know. It all depends on what, on your comments. Let's go in. So for this one, I used a total of five envelopes. So this one is, oops, this one is my first page. It's kind of reminds me of the little jute binding journals, junk journals that I've made. It's just not, you know, just a little different, but it kind of reminds me of that. What I did here, I just added a piece of ephemera. I had a large piece of ephemera. I cut it in half, tore it, and um, glued this pocket on it, but not to the end, so that I can have a tuck in here. So I have these two pieces of ephemera, and as you can see, it's open. So you have that pocket, and I had uh, put a piece of napkin like this one, but I ended up cutting it, covering it, I mean, because, you know, me and pockets, you gotta have pockets. I love tucks and pockets all over the place. I, you know, it, that's just me. I, I just love that. And then here, of course, my book page. This image came out from a Reader's Digest. Or was this one not? I think this one came from, I'm not sure. It doesn't, no, this one did not. I think this is from uh, a digital, digital kit I purchased. But I did some layering, as you could see on the back, and, and some stamping. And then in this pocket, I just have these two pieces. Hold on, let me get this mess out of here, because I'm going to make a mess. I'm already elbowing it, and it's going to land on the floor, and then i got to bend over, and that's too much work. <laughs> okay. So then these go in there. So then here we have another envelope, which you have a tuck in there, as you can see, which I don't have anything yet, but that's a tuck. Here, I'm not sure if I'm gonna leave it as is. I kind of do because I like the napkin. So I may leave that alone, but I definitely need to put something in there. So then here you have another book page pocket. And this one has with a little flap going up and I have these two pieces of ephemera don't ask me from where guys because I have to look so many people I order from now on here I have this piece and I think this one is from you know what I'm gonna shut up and then on the back I showed this on my previous one of my previous videos that I had created this but it was too tall well it's perfect for this book look at it look at that so it tucks back there which I need to put some seam binding I finally got my seam binding and then this one I just added this image here and left it open in the back so I have a little tag here and I did some stamping in the back I added some of that uh, scrapbook paper so that goes in there and then this flap also opens so now we have a four page spread how cool is that guys I really like this I need to do more here, I added this piece, and I just glued it, I mean, I'm sorry, sew, sewn it from here to leave it as a little tuck. But, you know, just easier to tuck in there. And then on the back, it's also not glued all the way, so you can just pull them to the side. Because sometimes, you know, when it's kind of tight, you struggle. Some of the ephemera is not that thin. So I figured, okay, see, that's easier to just pop them back there. They won't get stuck. 
On this one, I glued this envelope, but then I went ahead and did a, a sewing stitch, the zigzag stitch, just to look, make it look like it's, you know, sewed, the page was sewn in there. <laughs> I kind of like that. On this side, I have this image here, and she's glued down on this piece of ephemera that I have from Tsunami Rose. So I made that into a pocket, and then I just did a little bit of stamping there. And then you got these two pieces of ephemera here. And like I said, I need to add my seam binding. So that closes and closes. Oh, wait. No, closes. So then we switch the page. And we're over here now. This type of little journal, I mean, you could add, if you want to add more envelopes, you can do so much more with it. It all depends on how bulky you want it or how big you want it. I tried to stay with flat stuff so it wouldn't get so heavy. But you can do so much. Here, I just used this piece of ephemera, glued her down. But I only glued down here, up here. And I left it as a tuck. So see, you got a tuck back here. And I have this piece of ephemera there. And you could add more. You got enough space in there to add more stuff. So that just tucks in there. And then this one, I have this piece of ephemera with these two pieces that I just left open on the top. So these pop in there, which by the way, no, this one is not. This one opens and I have a three page spread on this side. Again, here I added the other piece that I cut on the other page, added to this one, sewed her there and you have a pocket. This is from Nick the Booksmith. So those just pop there and you could add more stuff. Here I have another book page. See I haven't decorated this little piece there. But here you have oh, you have a book page pocket. So you have this little piece of ephemera for your Kodak moments. And then you have this piece of ephemera and then you have this little one. And then on the back, I just added this piece. So those just tuck there. And then here, it's open to add more goodies. And it closes. And there's your book. Like I said, you can still hear on this one here, how it opens. You could add another page here and make another flap and have a uh, four page spread like this one. But I kind of stop, but you can keep going. You can keep adding envelopes. If you guys are interested in knowing how I put it together and maybe want to craft with me and do one together, you know, all finished. Cause like I said, I still need to cover the back and I need to decorate the front. But if it's something you guys like and are interested in seeing a tutorial, let me know and I will start this I really like the way it came out I hope you guys like it let me know and let's see am I forgetting anything um I don't think so I don't know every time I I turn off the camera I, oh I should have said this okay but for now <clears throat> I will leave you guys thank you so much for stopping by I will see you guys in my next video take care god bless bye bye